Hi guys, I'm Mr. Aaron. Welcome to Mission Ignition. We hope that you'll join us Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. in the First Baptist Church Assembly Center. We'll watch this video together and play some games, or you can watch it at home with your family and friends. Let's study God's Word together. Let's begin with our theme verse, Acts 1, 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1, 8. Now let's pray together, starting with the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 15. Let's pray together. Remember, we're talking to God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God be with us as we learn in Mission Ignition. Help us to learn more about you. Help us to learn more about how much you love us. And help us to learn more about your word and what you have to say to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, make a video of yourself saying this week's verse or something you learned in this week's lesson. Ask your parents to post it on the closed Facebook page named FBC Community Kids so we can celebrate what you've learned. When we have enough video clips, my friend Mr. Aaron will show them during the countdown before church on a Sunday morning. I can't wait. What can we expect in this week's lesson? This week, we're going to look at our new mission project, and we are going to study the model prayer. Stick around, because we have a special surprise at the end of this video. Now, let's take a look at our new mission project. This month, we're making something to put in our Operation Christmas Child boxes. I'm so excited. Let's see what it is. Okay, Bubby, let's see how this project if you're works. looking for something cute, simple, and useful to make with felt, today on Craft to Care, I'm going to show you how to Ooh, create those are these cute. colorful felt pouches. This should be really fun. Bubby, you going to say hi to the camera? This is my dog, Conlin. Everybody say hi! These kits will be available for pickup in the church lobby, at the upcoming events table, on Sunday mornings, or on Wednesday nights. I'm Diane, and I'm so hi, glad Diane. you're here, because this is one of my favorite projects to make with felt. You just simply take a 9 by 12 piece of felt and basically fold it and stitch it a little bit. Stitch it? And oh, if you don't want to do the needle and thread, then we have hot so glue gun. So let's this looks really started. cute. The kids in Operation Christmas Child are going to love these. Inch by 12 inch pieces of felt. So the felt and the buttons and uh, Velcro, Velcro will be included in your kit that you can pick up on Sunday mornings no or on Wednesdays at Mission Ignition. You'll also and this need video tells us what to do. Some thread and a needle for stitching up the sides, although today I'll be using the sewing Remember, machine. Remember, you can also use a also hot glue gun. A the needle and thread or hot glue are not included so in the kit, but if you need access to those, let like us know at the church office. We'll You'll get also you need up. a glue gun for gluing on some of the embellishments, and you can use the glue gun for gluing the sides of your pouch and not need to do any sewing. And you might also want to use some pins to pin your felt in place when you're doing the stitching. Now you'll take your 9 by 12 piece of felt and just fold that bottom edge up, leaving about 2 inches Ooh. at the top that will then that fold makes sense. down. Now I'm going to round those top edges. This is certainly an optional step. You oh, don't then make it look really this. cute. So get that glass plate, whatever you have, and just draw along there just to simply round off those Let's edges. See. And then we're going to just yeah. cut them. Once those edges are cut, we're going to put down that flap again. And now we're going to pin it. You're real careful with those like pins. Pin they hurt sure if you stick yourself. In place before you sew it. That's what I do because I have a tendency to always shift things around and then they're not straight anymore. So now for this part, you can just use a needle and thread and stitch up the whole side like I've done on this one. Stitch all on that side. We have folks that or can help you, you stitch if you want to learn how to sew. We have some folks today. that can help you with that. So I'm just or you can use that hot glue gun to side, attach the side. about a presser foot width from the edge of yeah, sweetie. You the see pouch. It? Isn't this cute? Just this is what the kids are going to make. Stitch right up to the edge where it's folded over. 
We're not going to stitch on that top flap. I'm yeah, I don't down stitch the, the top side, flap, then you can't get in and out. The flap <laughs> begins. Stitch down to the bottom. And then our pouch is basically finished, except for putting a little bit of Velcro so we have a clasp. I did use the, the sticky back Velcro I so stuff. I don't have to do any sewing. So I like to cut two little pieces. I cut mine at one half to about oh. one inch in size, and then I put one on either side. Well, then it'll be nice I'm going to put it on um, that top flap well. first. Sweetie, I can't and watch it doesn't the matter if you, you use the around. hook end or the more fluffy Here, end let's of go the this Velcro. Way. I okay. can oh, keep hi. the same side of the Velcro <laughs> on the flap I and then the sweetie. same side on the bottom, so I line that up. All right, All right. she's lining there, up her Velcro to get the pouch and then closed. And the pouch can stay closed. Next, we're going to put a little button on there. The button is not obviously used Buttons because so we have the Velcro, cute. but it just looks cute with a little button I on think there the kids that get our Operation so Christmas Child Boxes really love on there just these a pouches. few times up and down with our thread. And then knot it off on the underside so you don't see the knot there on the button. So I'm all done putting the button on. Then we're going to decide what do we want to put on the front just to embellish Yay, it, make it a little part. brighter. It's certainly finished the way it is, but if you want to brighten it up, I'm going to cut out a little green heart today, so just take a, another piece of felt, cut out a little heart. Oh, that's cute. And then all we have to do with this put is take whatever our Whatever you wanted on there, make it, and uh, glue it right look like you, there. a gift of love now we've from done you to the kids in Operation and Christmas Child. And all different kinds of things, so whatever little embellishment you want, whatever color you think is going to look nice. And just stick that on there and your pouch is Yay. done. Thanks for joining me today. Remember that you can turn in your finished uh, pouches at, in the box in the lobby at the church, or you can turn them in on Wednesday nights at Mission Ignition, and we'll make sure that they get in the kits for Operation Christmas Child boxes, which will go out next month. I'm so excited. Thank you so much to Audra for helping choose this craft and figuring out what we can do, and I look forward to seeing what you make. Say goodbye, Bubby. Say bye-bye. Thank you for joining us today. I'm a little camera shy. <laughs> See you next time. Remember to keep practicing and preparing for this spring's Bible Drill competition. Bible Drill prizes and practice videos are in the description below. Now, let's take a look at our second and third videos. Both of them remind us how Jesus taught us to pray. One in the Lord's Prayer or in the model prayer, as some call it. Let's take a look together. Hi friends, today we're learning Matthew 21, 22 and about the model prayer or the Lord's Prayer. Let's get started. Matthew 21, 22. And if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Matthew 21, 22. Let's do that again. Matthew 21, 22. And if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Matthew 21, 22. What this verse says is true. What we ask the Lord Jesus in his name, he will give us if we believe and have faith. But remember that God always knows what's best for us. And sometimes what's best for us is no. Keep that in mind, but as we pray, know that if you have faith, and if what you're asking for is to give God glory and worship and show how great He is, you will receive it if you believe. Now let's look at what's called the model prayer. The model prayer is also often referred to as the Lord's Prayer. It's the same thing. Lord's Prayer and model prayer, they're the same. The model prayer or the Lord's Prayer is found in the book of Matthew. I have a fun character to help us remember Matthew. It takes the letters of the name Matthew and makes it into a, a funny looking character. Let me show you. Okay, the model prayer is found in Matthew chapter 6 verses 5 to 15. So look at this picture here. You see? See our funny character Matthew? The model prayer or the Lord's Prayer is found in Matthew chapter 6. Do you see the 6 on the hands? And what are the verse numbers in the cross? 5 to 15. So when I say the model prayer or the Lord's Prayer, I want you to close your eyes and think of this picture. Do you see Matthew in the corner? Do you see the praying hands with the 6 on them? Do you see the cross with the 5 to 15? That'll help you remember the model prayer or the Lord's Prayer is found in Matthew chapter 6 verses 5 to 15. 
Now let's look at how to find it in the Bible. Okay, get out your Bible. Try to open it in the very middle or close to it. You should be close to Psalms. I ended up in Proverbs. That's the next door neighbor. That's okay. Uh, Psalms is just a few pages back. All right, now open the right half as close as you can to the middle. Oop, I ended up in Zechariah. That's not far enough. That's in the Minor Prophets. So I'm going to keep going till I get to the Gospels. The Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'm in Mark. All right, so I want to go backwards to Matthew because we're looking for the model prayer or the Lord's Prayer, which is found where? In Matthew 6, verses 5 to 15. So I'm going to keep flipping. I'm in Matthew now, so I'm going to flip until I find the big number 6. That's our chapter number. And then I want to go down to the little five underneath, five to 15. Ooh, it even goes to the next page. And that is the model prayer or the Lord's Prayer. Miss Gail is going to be teaching us more about the Lord's Prayer in the weeks ahead. So keep an eye out for those videos. Okay, let's see what you remember. What's Matthew 21, 22? Matthew 21, 22. And if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Matthew 21, 22. Now let's do the Lord's Prayer. Where is it found? And find it in your Bible. The model prayer, or the Lord's Prayer, is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 15. Now I'll start it, and you finish it and tell me where it's found. You ready? And if you believe, you... Matthew 21, 22. And if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Matthew 21, 22. To get your study guide, email Miss Nancy Ruth at kids at fbcponca.org. We're collecting money for the Edna McMillan Oklahoma State Missions offering through the end of October. It's a competition between the girls and the boys. If the boys raise more money, Mr. Brent gets to slime Miss Nancy Ruth. If the girls raise more money, she gets to slime him. Win-win. Here is what we've collected so far. Want to join us? Here's what you do. Make your own offering jar or box and put your offering money in it. When you're ready, ask your parents to help you give it to the mission's offering. If you choose to give in person, use an offering envelope. Write Mission Ignition Boys or Mission Ignition Girls on the memo line. Then let kids put the envelope in the offering boxes in the lobby. Or you can put it in the secure drop box off of 6th Street. If you choose to give online, use the memo line to type Mission Ignition Boys or Mission Ignition Girls. Let your kids help you so they can see how online giving works. Hello kids, I'm so glad you're here today. I have missed you terribly and I'm glad we're back. Do you know we're going to do five lessons about the Lord's Prayer? The model prayer, or the Lord's Prayer, is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 15. And I really, really hope that you will memorize it, and it'll be in your heart, and a prayer that means something deeply to you. We're going to learn it two ways. We're going to learn it to say it with our mouths, but we're also going to learn to say it with our hands in sign language. Let me show you what it looks like in sign language. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done 
in earth like it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Isn't that just a beautiful prayer? And do you know how come it's in the Bible? It's in the Bible because Jesus' disciples ask him, how do you want us to pray? And Jesus said, pray like this. And he taught him the Lord's Prayer. So let's work on the first part of it. Are you ready? It says, Our Father. Do you know what? You can't say that if you don't recognize God as your Father. He is your Heavenly Father. And it says, Our so it's something that we share together. Can you just imagine how special that is? Our Father. Kids, I want you to know something about fathers. We know our fathers because we've got them here on earth. And some of them, some of us have fathers that live at home with us. And some of us have fathers that don't live in our house anymore. And we go visit them maybe on weekends. And some of us have fathers that aren't really a good father. Those are little f fathers. God is a capital F father, and he is a good, good father. So you can always count on him. He's always there for you. And you can always pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know, I read a book one time that the name of the book was She Dared to Call Him Father. And it was the story of a girl who was raised in the Muslim faith. And in her faith, God is called Allah. And He's not our God. He's another separate God that they call Allah. And He is a dictator. He is, tells them what to do. He tells them how to do it and expects them to live just by those rules. And she got to know our God because she read about Him in this book. And as she was reading in the Bible, she realized that lots of people called God Father. More than just Jesus. He was really Jesus' Father. But he taught us, Jesus taught us to call him our Father. So I want that to be special to you. And I want you to be drawn in to a closer and closer relationship with God as Father. Our Father, not the one that's here on the earth, our Father who is in heaven. And then it says hallowed. We don't even use that word very much. Have you ever heard that word before? I don't know that I've ever even heard it except in the Lord's Prayer. But it says hallowed, and that means holy. That means special. That means separate from everything else as just major important. Hallowed be your name. Do you ever have anybody whose name is holy that you know of? I don't. Only God and God made it one of His Ten Commandments when He said, don't take my name in vain. That means keep it holy. Keep it separate. Keep it special. And then He said the Sabbath day. Remember that? He said, and remember to keep it holy. That means separate from the other day. Special. Why? Because He's our Father. And we're keeping Him special. So as we get the signs for it, this is the sign for our, and you make like, kind of like a part of an O for our Father who art in heaven, hallowed. And see, I made an H with my fingers. 
and you put it over your hands, hallowed be your name. And that's the lesson. That's all you got to remember for today. Do you think you can get that? Say it with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We've got a good start for today. Would you pray with me as we close? Father, I thank you so much that the children are back and that we can spend time together. Father, use this time to crowd us so close to you that we can just sense your presence. Now, Father, help the kids to learn this verse and help them to make it be something that's coming from their heart. Help them to know you as Father. And I ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. This week's family challenge is to do the mission project. You can pick up the kits for those on Sundays at the upcoming events table or on Wednesday evenings in Mission Ignition. Links for instructions and more information are in the description below. And don't forget to post a picture or a video in the FBC Community Kids Facebook group of something you learned tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies, skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. See you next week.